coffee home. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you Welcome back, everybody. My name is Rakiato. Welcome to my channel. This is new episode of the Red Dead Redemption Bye. 2. Bye. <laughs> we have in the previous episode, okay, have actually first episode with John Marston, and it went, it went well. So now I'm going to see what else we can do here on this ranch. So let's go. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Jesus. Now, lift up the other side. I gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Come on, come on. All right. Excellent. That's it. Fine. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Well, definitely was easier to just rob a bank. Jim Mill, over here. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Quick as you can. Hurry. Hurry. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Okay, but how? Oh my god. I'll get him. Get a rope on him, Milton, and try and calm him down. I gotta build that. No, you don't.
Come on. Let's talk. Oh, come on. Oh my god. I'm gonna die definitely. Shoot, shoot. I know. Mr. Dickens? Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Whoa. Well, we definitely survive. You want to watch, <laughs> watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one oh, no. to kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, oh, get him. Oh, get him. Oh, kick his head in, Bob. Come on. Oh, boy. When was the last time you had a bath? Oh, heck. Knock his goddamn brains out! Yeah! Oh, he's licking you, boss! <laughs> you couldn't clean my boots. It's boss! Boss! You need help? <laughs> that boy can punch! Yeah. Oh, no. Jim, Jim, get off that man! Get off him! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. I definitely you, need Mr. a gun. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. So, what can we do now? We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, 
I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. Right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Okay, let's see on the map. What can we do now? Can go with Abigail. Well, let's do this first. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. <laughs> what the hell was that? What? Are you, what? what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh no, look at this. What? Oh, again, fun. Okay. Excellent. They've killed Mr. Tolbert and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me! What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Oh, there is some action. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! Say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. 
Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Coming up to Pronghorn, I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. Wow. Where is it? everybody? Excellent, excellent. Too damn excellent. Come on. Oh my god, I can't do it. Excellent. Well, is it everything? There is one more left. Oh no, 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 please! Excellent. Nice. Okay. Let's do this. You're the fellow that said something about my wife. Piss taking shit tumbling backwards. No, no, no. Come on, come on, please, free, 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 free. Excellent. Come on, come on, you can do this. Come on, please. Come on, John. Come on, come on, John, please. No, no, no. Come on. Excellent. You know the 
That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheet dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand! <laughs> Come on, take it. No, what what are you doing? Let's run from here. Okay, we are definitely back in our range. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight. But how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Sorry, what? Abigail. What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? I think you will sleep on the floor. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So we have a mission with Abigail. Let's go there to see what can we do for, the, for her. Surviving, I think. Here, I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money, 
Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. <laughs> Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about the only thing you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. And Ma was wrong about that. Here, want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Come on, Jack. Well, uh. W what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. This is so strange. I mean, with Arthur, there is always some action, gun firing or something, and this is so family thing. I've seen you without a book in your hand. We ever gonna get to Strawberry going like this? It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Come on. I'm just wondering, what can I do now with John? I mean, it per he is still pursued by a law, so he need to be on that farm not to get caught. But I think that we have to do some mission at least. We need money. All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. <laughs> Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Oh, no. 
Nope. Nothing here for that no, name no, either. No, no, there is some guy. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Oh no, who was the guy? Get out of here. Everything okay, Pop? We will definitely sure. have some shooting here. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than before. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Slow it down. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Right, speed up. Get away from there. Okay. Yeah. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No. Keep driving. Ah. This guy definitely following us. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Pick up the pace, bit. Give him a switch. He's still behind us. Oh, something is definitely wrong. Huh? Oh no. Just keep this is some kind of ambush, definitely. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. 
Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys oh, want no. Us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. Well, I am not. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Uh, no. no. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I see the resemblance. They're goddamn morons. Oh my god, no. Bullshit, mister. Kill him. Come on. Okay. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Come on, come on. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, Come on. Close yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. We're real brave back there. Real brave. Whoa. It's exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Well, John definitely want to be good, but and not to use the gun, but that's not an option actually. He need to defend himself and uh, Abigail and Jack, so I probably believe that we will go back to old ways just to be outlaw. What happened? Yeah, it's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Oh. Well, it's not 
John's fault, definitely. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. <laughs> That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Okay, so all gang is coming back. Definitely. Well, let's see what think of that Abigail. She will probably be against that, but Abigail. Let's see. What? Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior. And your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Sorry, John. Is that the present? Yes. Wow, nice. <clears throat> Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about <laughs> you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. Well, keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Okay, let's finish all the works and then go to Sadie. I will probably finish that episode. This episode here when I done the all works, so let's do this.
Okay, let's see what will happen here. But that's her fool. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. So, let's see how Mr. Geddes can help John. Let's go to the house and then finish this episode. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. <laughs> I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Wow, look at him. Well, everybody, that's it for today's episode. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Bye for now, and... Stay safe.